Hello, everybody. I am GeekWire co-founder John Cook, and I am thrilled to be here for what's become an annual tradition on the GeekWire podcast. That's right, folks. It is time for the 2022 year-end news quiz. We are going to be going across all the headlines from the past year on GeekWire, and I'm, as your host today, going to be quizzing GeekWire managing editor Taylor Soper and GeekWire co-founder Todd Bishop, who are joining me here to take the quiz and compete head-to-head. Taylor and Todd, welcome back to the GeekWire News Quiz. Let's go. It's great. I've been looking forward to this. John, there was a chance that we weren't going to do this one, and now you were able to squeeze in your quiz master duties here at the end of the year, and I can't be more excited. Absolutely. And Taylor, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you've won this the last couple of years. Is that right? I think I may be undefeated. Yeah. So, Todd, you need to redeem yourselves. Now, we have 15 questions today. And these 15 questions come from many GeekWire stories that we've reported over the past year. So both of you, as key members of the editorial team at GeekWire, should be well positioned to answer these questions. I don't think there are any real stumpers in there. I think you'll be able to get most of them. And I'm going to ask you to just ding in by saying ding if you know the correct answer to the question. Sound good? Sounds good. And John, I'm really looking forward to your guest spot on Jeopardy next year, frankly, after all this experience. You don't want to fill in for Ken Jennings? No, no. he's too he's okay. too sharp. I mean, there's already too many. There are already too many Seattle uh, Jeopardy yeah, hosts. You know, Let's not complicate this. Yeah. Okay, you guys yeah. ready? Let's get going. Question number one. Arlington, Washington-based Eviation completed a successful test of what transportation technology in the high desert? Todd? Electric aircraft. That is correct. It was September, 2022. They completed their first test flight out in Moses Lake, Washington. And this was their first, first ever electric flight. Does anyone remember the name of the aircraft? This is a bonus. This is a bonus. Now, I Ding. don't expect our listeners to know this. This is going in the weeds. Taylor. Alice. Alice. I'm going to give you each a point for that. Seems fair, okay. right? Yes. Okay. Nice work. Todd, I did I don't not know think, that. I, I bet you did not know it was called Alice. So, all right. Now that we'll, you say it, it sounds right, but I did not know it. Right. So, you know, this is a cool technology. And it's great to see uh, Seattle area companies leading the way and the uh, redevelopment of aviation with new electrical powered uh, aircraft. Okay, question two. Which of the following books was not on Bill Gates' list of all time favorite books, which the billionaire philanthropist released in the fall of 2022? Surrender by Bono, A Full Life by President Jimmy Carter. Thing. That was the one. <laughs> that is correct. All right. I got to I gotta keep track here. Todd, two points. Taylor, one. Okay. How and about for a me... bonus, I name the rest of the books on the list without any we kind can't... of reference. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> no. Collusion or no. I, I don't. Well, let okay. me see. You don't if give you me can. a point. Okay. So don't Surrender by Bono was one of, one of the all-time favorite books. Can you name the other four? The Inner Game of Tennis. Correct. No, I can't. <laughs> it was another one by Doris Kearns Goodwin. I yeah. Believe, about Lincoln named. Yeah, you're getting can't there. can't remember the name of it. Uh, and then a book by Team Robert of, it was, Heinlein. It was, it was called Team of Rivals. Team of Rivals. And then right. Robert Heinlein. Um, and I can't remember the name of which Heinlein book he you picked. This is really good, Todd. Yes, correct. It's uh, Best Introduction to Grown-Up Sci-Fi. He says, Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein. Yep. Is it? Yeah. There you go. Okay, so Todd. And then, and there's one more. What was, he, what was the fifth one? Mendelev's Dream by Paul Strathern. Yeah, wouldn't have got that. Okay. Yeah. But okay, so Todd, you're up 2 1. Are you ready for yes. question three? Yes. Which of these companies did not rank in the top five of the GeekWire 200 ranking of the top privately held companies in the Pacific Northwest 
as of the fourth quarter of 2022. iSpot, Hootsuite, Convoy, Outreach, or iCertus? Ding. Taylor. I'm going to go iSpot. I don't think that's right. I think iSpot's up there, aren't they? Well, you can you you know exactly where to go. Just go to the GeekWire 200 if you want to see that. Well, we can't cheat. I know. Taylor, okay. did Taylor get it wrong? He, Taylor got it right. iSpot oh. is correct. Don't doubt me, Todd. Yeah, yeah, Todd. So, don't. so iSpot was not in the top five in the GeekWire 200 this year. That that is correct. They are not in the top five. Very fast growing company, raised a lot of money. They ranked number thirteen. And if you want to know the order, and again, this is the ranking of the top privately held companies in the Pacific Northwest, Hootsuite, number one, Isertus, number two, Outreach, number three, Convoy, number four, and Clio, number five. And the score is GeekWire Managing Editor, Taylor Soper, two, and GeekWire Co-Founder, Todd Bishop, two. Now, for question number five. Name the Seattle tech CEO who said this in November 2022. We've tied up hundreds of millions of dollars in houses that you yourself Ding. would want to own right now. I think I got it. Ding. I think Taylor was in, though, first. Go ahead, Todd. Taylor, you were first. Oh, I thought I thought Todd said I, thought, I think first. I was first. I think I was first. Okay. There's a delay. <laughs> There's a delay in the... Okay. <laughs> I'm, actually, right. I'm actually a little unsure, so Todd, please... Oh, boy. Okay. We'll have to go to the tape afterward, and I'll give up this point if I get it. Uh, Redfin CEO, Glenn Kelman. That is correct. Ding, nice ding, ding, that. ding, ding. Correct. And he was saying that, of course, because why? You guys reported this story. Oh, well, yeah. Redfin exited their Redfin Now business, the iBuyer business that uh, just was way too unwieldy and unprofitable for them. That is yes. correct. Okay. Question number six. Amazon shut down a number of business units in 2022, including its primary healthcare services unit. What was its name? Ding. Amazon Taylor. Care. Amazon Care is correct. Todd, I'm surprised you didn't I was, get that one. I was thinking about Scout. I was thought I thought you were going someplace else with that one. And so my mind was. Well, they shut down a number of services. Yeah, I, mean, I thought you were going Glow, the the kids' device. Yeah, there's there's a Ooh, number of choices. There's too. a number of choices. That's why it's a fun question, isn't it? Yep. This is fun. This is and so I think fun. you guys, I think you guys had a joint byline on that story. Yeah, that, that was, was a good story. That was, was a scoop. nice scoop. Nice scoop for you guys. On Amazon Care, not Scout. Yeah. Okay, it is Todd Bishop three, Taylor Soper three. So we had question number seven. Amazon added what former Seattle Seahawk to its Thursday night football broadcast team on Dang. Prime Video? Taylor, that was you. Oh, I know this one now. Mr. Richard Sherman. Correct. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Taylor. You just pulled into the lead. Let's Four go. to three. Sherman. Sherman. He's a Stanford grad, isn't he? Him as well as former Seahawk great Doug Baldwin. Both. Both. Former Cardinal. I, I would bet based on their academic pedigrees that they would both do better on the GeekWire 2022 year end news quiz than either of us, Taylor. Hey, idea for next year. Let's have them on. <laughs> that there would be go. fun. We should invite somebody else in here to compete against you next year. Here we go. This would be question number eight. And it's four to three. Taylor is in the lead. Correct. Some 7,587 freshman applicants to the University of Washington for next year picked the prestigious Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering as their top choice for a major. How many of them will be accepted into the program? Ding. Now, okay. I, okay, now I'm going to give you, if you get within 100, you get this. You get a point for this. Okay, wait, so who, who was first there? That was another case where I, I heard myself first, but I know that was very fast that Taylor was next. I didn't even hear, hear Taylor, to tell you the truth. I only okay. heard Todd. So, Todd? I'm going to say 573. 
Todd, you are extremely close. You're definitely within the margin of error of 100 students. The correct answer is 550 students ah, of the yes. 7,587 freshman applicants I mean, that want to get into the computer science department at the university. Only 550. Our great colleague, Lisa Stifler, had a really in-depth story on this earlier this year. Make sure you check the show notes to see the links to yeah. all of the stories that we're talking about here. That was one of the best stories of the year. Yeah, she did a fantastic job reporting that out. Okay, we're ready for our next question? Yeah, I believe it's four to four. Todd, you are correct. It is four to four. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's estate sold artifacts from the Flying Heritage Combat and Armor Museum to which entrepreneur and philanthropist associated with one of retail's pioneering families? Ding. Todd, that's you. Walton. The Walton family, correct. We will take that as an acceptable answer. Really? What about the yeah. first name? Well, I, you know. This is okay. Jeopardy okay. rules here. Yeah, I, I, yeah right. I, I think that, I think right. that counts. Stuart Walton was the person who purchased that. And in good news for people who love looking at tanks and combat aircraft, the museum is staying in the Seattle area. It's a fantastic museum. I don't know if any of you guys have ever gone to it, but it's a wonderful museum. All right. We are ready for the next question. Currently, Todd, you just pulled in the lead. Five, four. Again, we have Todd Bishop, GeekWire co-founder facing off against GeekWire managing editor Taylor Soper in the 2022 end of year news quiz here at GeekWire. I do want to point out before you continue, John, I've sensed your attempt to shift the balance here. There are not quite as many startup questions as there have been in years past. So for this, I'm grateful, but I also want to acknowledge that there's the potential here for Taylor to get into his zone should the subject of these questions change. So. What an amazing setup, Todd, because I think we've got a startup question right around the corner. <laughs> Which of the following Pacific Northwest startup companies did not raise $200 million or more in venture capital financing in 2022? iSpot, Convoy, Group 14, Flex, or TerraPower? Ding. Ding. Todd was first. What's Group your answer, 14. Todd? That is incorrect. Taylor, do you want to swoop in here and, and get the point? I can read the question to you again if you want to hear it. I am going to go with Flex. Flex is correct. They Oof. raised $119 million. I mean, oh. this story is interesting. There was still, even though the economy hit some headwinds, still a lot of money flowing to a lot of companies. Todd, Group 14 was just in the news this month because they raised over $200 million in one round mm -hmm. alone from. Microsoft and others, a very fast-growing battery technology company here in the Seattle area. Sorry you missed it. But good news. It's tied up 5-5 five, five as we go into our next question. In February, protesters in the Netherlands signed up to toss what food item at Jeff Bezos' new 500 million mega yacht when it passed through the city of Rotterdam? Ding. Taylor, you're in. Eggs. Eggs is correct. Eggs is correct. I think they ended up changing plans and they didn't take the route through there. I So I don't know if the eggs ever got tossed, but there was a group of protesters, several thousand who wanted to come out and egg his yacht as it passed through the bridge that they were going to tear down. So Not pro tear tip. down and then replace and then, and then set back yeah. up amazingly. Yeah. Sh should you decide that you're going to try and egg Jeff Bezos's yacht, perhaps don't publicize the effort in advance? Is that... That's tip. maybe a good idea. Okay, we have Taylor Soper, GeekWire Managing Editor, at six, and Todd Bishop, GeekWire Co-Founder, at five. Strella Biotechnology Co-Founder and CEO, Catherine Sizov, won GeekWire's Elevator Pitch Startup Competition at the 2022 GeekWire Summit. With a unique sensing technology that reduces food waste by determining what? Ding. Ding. Taylor was first. Oh, he just beat you. Just as you out. Taylor, what did Catherine Sizov's groundbreaking technology do? 
it determines when food um, becomes rotten. I I think that I mean that's an acceptable answer, Todd. I see that you want to dispute that, but or or is right. Cur- yes, I mean really the, essentially the same thing. It measures the ripeness levels of apples and pears. So, I think that's an acceptable answer, Todd. Are you still disputing it? No, I I, I hereby withdraw my protest. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. All right, so Taylor, does that push you to seven, seven to five? Oh, we see oh, a boy. familiar pattern emerging. Yes, here we go. <laughs> All right, next question. Name the famed arcade that reopened its doors in downtown Seattle Dang. in the summer of oh. 2022. <laughs> Taylor is just quicker on the draw. What yeah. is it, Taylor? GameWorks. GameWorks is back. That's correct. I want to dispute that one because GameWorks is not really famed. I think it's more infamous as far as I'm concerned. Now, little known fact, I had a job at the opening of the original GameWorks. And Bill Gates was there and Beck. And they made it into a huge, huge shindig that MTV came and did this massive production. This was back, I don't know, when the game works first open. We have to look up sometime in the late 90s, maybe, early 2000s. And my friend had was working at MTV in production, and he knew that I was in Seattle as a young person along with several of my friends. And so he got several of us to work the, the grand opening of GameWorks. I was in charge of craft services. You're like the Forrest Gump of Seattle Tech. You're at every key moment. <laughs> oh man, that was yeah, that was that was a key moment. Okay, Taylor Soper, GeekWire Managing Editor, sits at eight points. Todd Bishop sits at five. Yejin Choi, a University of Washington computer science professor, won an eight hundred thousand dollar Genius Grant from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Her research focuses on NLP. What does NLP stand for? Zing. Oh, geez. Taylor beat you again. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yes, that's the question. Shouldn't the question be, what is her research focus on? (laughs) I I thought it's, well, you got to get in the weeds a little bit to natural language processing. That is correct. Taylor, you just pulled into a commanding lead with nine points to Todd Bishop's five points. I don't think, Todd, you can recover. We are going to still finish off the 2022 GeekWire News Quiz. I was going to say, I don't know. I I only went to Chico State, but yeah, I don't think that's mathematically possible at this point. That is correct. All right. Our second to last question. A Funko Shits Creek party game, Daily Deal. (laughs) Where's that going? All right. What? Say that again? All right. Let's listen up. A Funko Shits Creek party game, Daily Deal, for $19.99. Was the last sale offered through what Amazon-based vehicle? Ding. Ding. Taylor. No, no, no. I think that, that was, was Taylor. No, that was Taylor. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm see, I, there's a delay because I'm I'm thinking I'm first on all these. No, That's going to be my first. protest. Taylor, what the was treasure, it? The treasure truck. That's right. The Amazon ah. treasure truck disappeared in 2022. Sad to see it go. Taylor at 10 points. Todd at five. Last question. GeekWire tracked over 200 funding deals tied to Pacific Northwest companies in 2022 on our venture capital funding list. Which of these is not the name of a Seattle startup that raised funding in 2022? Mother Duck, Rock Paper Coin, Bright Canary, Orca Cloud, Right Blocker. <laughs> That's pretty good, John. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is one of my favorite what was questions. It before, okay, so before you do that, can you re- read the whole thing? Read the yes. whole thing again. GeekWire tracked over 200 funding deals tied to Pacific Northwest companies in 2022 on our venture capital funding list. Which of these is not the name of a Seattle startup that raised funding in 2022? And the answers are Mother Duck, Rock Paper Coin, Bright Canary, Orca Cloud, and Ripe Locker. And Taylor Ding Den first. Yeah, this would be a fun, fun quiz just to do this. On. <laughs> we should do this like <laughs> regularly for our readers. 
Okay. Because they're all kind of ridiculous. They names, are kind of crazy names. The most yeah. ridiculous is actually they're all. Yeah, I don't even know if this is the most, but Orca Cloud is not a, a not Orca a company. Correct. Orca That's Cloud. the one that sounded most plausible to me. I know, I know it does. <laughs> I, actually, I I looked it up, and there is a service called Orca Cloud, but uh, not affiliated with the the Seattle Tech Community. Okay, that concludes the 2022 GeekWire end of year news quiz. And I'd like to say Taylor, the reigning champ, comes back in with 11 points to Todd's five. Todd, it was close there for a little bit, but you just fa- you just fizzled in the last rounds there. It was kind of the it, wasn't it four four at one point? And it was Taylor, five five. It yeah, was five, five five at five. one point, and Taylor comes in and wins eleven five. You are not a second half player. I'm clearly not. No, take me out at halftime. And it's kind of like a three-peat situation. I mean, if only the Blazers, your hometown basketball team, Taylor, were able to follow your model. Maybe they need to have you in for an inspirational talk at one of these points, just so you can talk about how to finish and really, you know, repeat in terms of championships. So hats off to you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, suggest to them that they listen to this podcast before their next big game, and maybe they'll give them some inspiration. Totally (laughs) inspiring. Totally yeah, inspiring. hometown boy. <laughs> well, what do you guys think of this year's quiz? Now, as you can tell by my voice, I'm a little under the weather. I had to really rally here the last two days on my, you know, sick bed to come up with these questions. What What did you think this year? I thought it was very well done, John. I think that last question in particular was one of the best and not only well conceived, but well executed. And um, I appreciated the greater balance of questions that i or taylor might be likely to get and i have a suggestion for next year but i don't want to cut taylor off in terms of his observations on your your extraordinary efforts with the quiz thank you thank you yeah taylor your observations agree with everything todd said and considering the circumstances just an incredible job by john cook oh wow well this is turned into a quiz love fest maybe john is the the, john is the real winner (laughs) yes dare i say epic epic todd what are your suggestions it sounds like you have a suggestion for next year i think now that we've proven that i will never ever win this i think it's time for me to retire as competitor at least for one year and next year i would like to try to live up to even part of your role as quiz master john and have you and taylor oh i was thinking we invite the community to participate That would be a lot better. Yes. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to participate. <laughs> Maybe turn this into more of a, a pub trivia kind a of a pub event? trivia. It could turn into an end of year pub trivia. I love it. Yeah. And we'll do it live and you can just record it. And we'll have multiple idea. contestants up on stage. Including Richard Sherman. Oh, it would be fun to get some celebs. Yes. Yeah. 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 This is a fantastic this. idea. Okay. Let's do this. It's- way better than what we just made everybody sit through here so thanks everybody <laughs> yeah now you can come live in person and watch this ridiculousness uh, but at least you'll have a pint with you or something so uh, super fun thanks for participating again i'm geekwire co-founder john cook and on behalf of the entire geekwire team happy holidays to everybody we hope you have a safe and wonderful holiday season i'm signing off todd bishop GeekWire co-founder, Taylor Soper, GeekWire managing editor. Thanks for joining and participating in the 2022 News Quiz. Thank you, John and Taylor, most of all. Congratulations to you. Thank you all.